Hey there folks, Mike with Articulate here and in this video I'm going to share with you how you can target audio in your course so that your learners can turn the audio on and off. All right, so let's say you have a text laden course like the one that you see here and you've got audio on each slide and you want to give the learners the opportunity to turn the audio on and off. Maybe they just want to listen to the audio. So here's what you do. To begin, we add a true false variable. I'm going to add it here and I'm going to call this play audio and I'm going to set the initial value to true. It's a good way for me mentally to think, all right, the default value is that the audio is going to play. All right, so our next step is we need to target the audio on each slide. To do so, we're going to use some triggers. Now, pay attention to the wave format here. Watch how this changes. I'm going to add a trigger that says, let us play media, and now I'm going to target that piece of audio, play that audio file when the timeline starts for the slide on the condition that my variable play audio is indeed equal to true. So now look how that changed. That audio file went from I'm going to play automatically to now I'm going to play if some conditions are met. It has been targeted with this trigger. So we play the media when the timeline starts if play audio is equal to true. Now, how would that audio not play? Well, it would not play if that variable was switched to false. And so we need to create the opportunity here for the learner to switch that variable to false. Now, two ways that we could do that. One, we could at the beginning of the course, maybe we create a couple buttons here. I'll have one, two, and maybe we change the coloring on these a little bit here. And we can add some icons. Maybe we got some great looking icons here. Here we've got a volume button. Oh, it's kind of small, isn't it? Let's make that bigger. Here, maybe that's going to be our mute button. And on this button, we will add a similar icon. Look at that. Pretty neat, right? And so to these, we're going to add a trigger. So maybe this is our don't play the audio. And so the trigger would be, let's adjust that variable. We adjust the variable, play audio. We're going to assign it a value of false. False, we don't want that audio to play. Over here, in case they want to change their mind, we're going to say adjust the variable, play audio, assign it a value of true when the user clicks that button. So now what happens is that when the learner is at the beginning of the course, and maybe you're going to give them the choice, do you want to listen to the audio in the course or not? And this is a one-time deal. They can choose this button, and that's going to change the variable to false, which means when they come to this slide, this trigger is going to say, well, let's play the media when the variable is equal to true. Well, it's not equal to true. It's equal to false, so we're not going to play the audio. You would put a similar trigger on every slide that contains audio. But here's a quick tip. You can copy this trigger, come down to your other slides, paste it, and then simply come and change it to the audio file on that slide. It's really easy to update. So that's the method of doing a one-time choice. If you'd like to give them the choice throughout the course, well, another way to do that would be to go to the slide master and create these buttons on the slide master. So I go to view slide master and I'm gonna take those buttons and let's do this. Let's just copy those. I'm going to copy view slide master come back to my slide master i'm going to paste them of course i'm going to shrink them down a little bit because they're pretty big and i'll move them down here and what i'm going to do is i am going to and you'll see we still have um the triggers ready to go here so that was easy now close master view let's do this though let's insert one more cool production tip i'm going to insert a reference to my variable so I can see what it's doing. This lets me see behind the scenes what's taking place. All right, let's view slide view. We come on back. We can get rid of these now because I've got my little buttons on every single slide. Let's preview this home, preview the slide. Now see my true here, true, false, true, false. So on every slide, it switches back and forth. Pretty neat. So those are just a couple quick ways that you can give your learner the opportunity to target the audio in their course to have the audio play or not play. Now, should you have any questions about working with variables, working with targeting audio, please join us in the eLearning Heroes community. We are at eLearningHeroes.com. Stop on in, ask your questions. We will be there to help you out.